Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Evan Schneider, and today I wanted to just give a quick demo and overview of the Spectro LUT Pack. I'm gonna show you how to install it for Adobe Creative Cloud, and also some of my favorite features and how to use it on different types of footage. Uh, so when you first download it, you're going to um, have this folder once you unzip it, the Spectro LUT Pack. When you go into it, you're gonna see the LC Spectra LUTs. You have a welcome guide, the bonus LUTs, license agreement, and utility LUTs. So to install these LUTs in Adobe Creative Cloud, you wanna make sure that you install them in the Adobe Common folder. That way both Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder can both access the LUTs um, without having to install them in two different places. So the first thing you wanna do is navigate to that folder in Macintosh HD, Library, Application Support, Adobe, and then go to Common. And then in this folder, um, you're gonna to have to create a new folder. It's kind of strange, but you're gonna create a new folder called LUTs. And this is case sensitive, so you wanna make sure that it has a lowercase s. And then within this folder, you're gonna make a folder called Creative, again, case sensitive and technical. These two folders correspond to the two tabs in Lumetri Color. Um, the creative LUTs will go in the creative tab and the technical LUTs will go in the basic tab. So since the Spectro LUT pack is creative LUTs, we're just gonna copy this folder and paste it right in the creative folder. And then we're also gonna go into our bonus LUTs we're going to copy all of those and we're going to paste them into this folder as well. We can also take our utility LUT, which is a DLOG M to Rec 709 technical LUT, and we can put that in the technical folder. So that's it. Once you have all of the LUTs in this folder, you're ready to go into Adobe Premiere and get started. So we are here in Premiere Pro and I have four clips loaded. Um, to kind of show you guys some different scenarios that these LUTs work well in. Um, I developed this LUT pack specifically to work with a broad spectrum or a range of different uh, cameras, different scenes, different lighting conditions. They're subtle enough to be actually usable. Um, they don't overpower your footage. Um, they're very easy to use, um, but they're powerful enough to bring your footage and give it a polished look with nice cinematic colors and uh, beautiful tones. And so of the 28 LUTs, I think you'll find a lot of them that you end up kind of being your go-to LUTs, uh, your go-to looks. This first shot here, I wanted to show you guys specifically because it has a good range of highlights and some shadows down here by the guitar. Um, and also I wanted to show you how these LUTs um, enhance and protect skin tones in your subject. Um, so with this clip selected, uh, we're in Lumetri and you're gonna go to your creative tab and under look in the drop down menu, you can see that all of our LUTs are loaded in here. And for this shot, I wanna use one of the Integra LUTs. Um, I created these four LUTs to have integrity for the skin tones, so they especially enhance and make skin tones look a lot better. So I'm gonna go with Integra 1 for this shot. And right off the bat, you can see that it adds a good amount of contrast. Um, the highlights aren't blown out. There's still some good detail in the shadows. It's added a bit of a bluish green tone to the shadows. Um, the skin tones are nice and warm and you know right where they should be. If the LUT is looking a little too intense on your footage, you can always go to the intensity slider and you can, you know, pull it back a little bit or you can even, you know, push it further and see how far you can push your footage. Um, for this shot, it's looking pretty good. I might bring down the intensity to maybe 90 and right away you can see that's before and after. If you wanted to make other specific corrections, you can always go back to your basic correction tab. Um, say your white balance is off or you need to adjust the tint, or in this case, I might actually bring up the shadows a little bit to bring a little more detail into the guitar jacket area. So I'm just gonna go to my shadow slider and bring those up a little bit. 
The beauty of this workflow is that all of the basic correction adjustments are happening before the creative let, which is exactly what you want in a color grading workflow. So you can see it's a small adjustment that's before and after, and this is with no corrections, no LUT, and then this is after. So you can see that in just a few steps, we were able to take this image, apply a really nice creative LUT, do some basic corrections, and we're good to go. This next shot, I wanted to showcase a landscape shot. Um, this was also shot in Rec. 709. So I'm gonna go to the Creative tab and I'm going to go to Look. And for this one, I think it would look really good with Vantage. And Vantage is a nice warmer LUT, um, making the greens a lot warmer and making the yellows actually a little bit more red. And overall, it has a very soft highlight roll off and a very gentle contrast curve. Even with just the LUT applied, that's before and after, before and after, and I feel like that's a really great look. The next clip I wanted to show you is this drone clip. Um, since it was shot in log, we're going to need to get it to Rec. 709 before we apply the creative LUT. Um, so we're gonna go to our basic correction tab and we're just gonna adjust the highlights and shadows to give it a little more contrast. That should be good. We don't wanna give it too much, um, but you can see that we've you know, added a bit of contrast. We can also add um, some more saturation to bring some of the colors out. Set that to 120. And then we're gonna go to our creative tab, drop down on the look menu, and for this one, let's use, let's go with Fairmont 1. So right off the bat, you can see that it's added some good contrast. Um, I actually might go back into the basic correction tab and bring the shadows up a little bit. Maybe dial this back. And then I'm going to push the tint a little more magenta. And there we go. Before and after. Before and after. This LUT adds some warmth into the highlights. It definitely brings out some of the green tones in the trees, um, overall warmth in the entire shot, and it just adds some good smooth contrast to the entire thing. So for this last shot, I wanted to show you because this was shot in Fuji F-Log on a Fuji X-T3, and this workflow applies to any footage that's shot in log so these LUTs were created to be applied to a Rec. 709 image um, and they were intentionally decoupled from any log conversion for retaining as much uh, creative control over your image as possible. Um, so for this shot, I'm actually going to use the Fuji F-Log to Eterna LUT. You can download this from Fuji's website and most camera manufacturers will actually have free LUTs to download to convert their log footage to Rec. 709. The benefit of using these is that your camera manufacturer knows the exact color science and knows how to convert it best to get the most natural looking colors. So we're going to apply the F-Log to Eternal LUT and you can see that that's added some good contrast and saturation. Afterwards, I'm going to go to my creative tab and for this shot, since it's kind of a moody scene, um, it's sunset, there's much more dark tones, I'm going to use one of the Monaco LUTs um, because these LUTs were kind of created to be more moody, um, better with darker tones. And Monaco 2 has a really warm feel, so I'm going to apply the Monaco 2 LUT. And as you can see, it's definitely brought the image down. We're going to need to adjust the shadows a bit to um, retain some of the detail in these bushes. So we're gonna go back to basic correction and we're just gonna bring up the shadows until they get to a point where we can see that detail in the bushes. We can also bring up the highlights a little bit to bring out just to overall brighten the image. And I'm also going to bring down the temperature a bit. 
Um, I want to bring out some of the blue in this water over here. Um, so I'm just going to bring down the temperature and then increase the saturation to bring out some more of those colors to make them really pop. Set it to 130. And so as you can see, um, in just a few steps, this is before and this is after. So we've made a very powerful grade by using the F-Log to Eternal LUT coupled with the Monaco 2 LUT and then doing some other basic corrections on top of that. So finally, I'm going to reset all of these LUTs and say you wanted to apply one LUT over your entire project. So to do that, you can actually go and create a new adjustment layer, press OK. And I'm just gonna drag this on top of all of the clips. And then within the adjustment layer, you can actually go to the Lumetri color panel again. And in your creative tab, you can apply a LUT to go over the entire thing. So for this, I'm gonna use the LC Vantage LUT. And this is looking a little bit strong on this clip, so I'm going to back off the intensity to maybe around 50% to give it that nice, warm, nice contrast feel. And then from here, you can actually just go through all of your different clips and adjust them based on how they're looking underneath this creative LUT. So for this clip, for example, we're gonna have to convert this to Rec 709. So we're gonna go back to our basic correction and we're gonna use the F-Log to Eternal LUT again. And we can bring up the shadows a little bit to a point where it looks good. And then maybe bring the saturation to 115. For this clip, we can bring the shadows down Bring the highlights up a bit. This one, we might add a bit of magenta, maybe cool it down a little bit. And so that way you can apply the same creative let over multiple clips and have one cohesive color grade while still retaining the ability to adjust individual clips to make them match. Um, this is a really great way to color grade a whole project very quickly um, by applying one of our spectra LUTs and adjusting the intensity. Uh, you can create a really natural and a very consistent color grade over your entire project. So I hope these tips helped and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us and hope you enjoy.